Okay, we're gonna send it back to winter. Please welcome Janine Garoppolo. And we've heard a lot of talk about summer and winter and I've got some rebuttals. But first of all, when they told me that the topic in the hallowed halls of symphony space was a debate on summer versus winter, I thought, hey, this is no less profound than Northern Ireland. <laughs> the Armenians and the Turks. Why this is something Bibi Netanyahu might want to get involved in. Bibi and Sarah. But be that as it may, uh, first of all, let me, let me go this way. Now they've, they've brought you some summer, some summer issues, and even Brooke mentioned about how she used to like summer. So let's get some context. We are not in the suburbs. We are not children. Uh, we don't live by water. So we can only deal with what is happening right here, right now. Uh, so uh, you must take that into account. Yes, when I was a child, summer was fantastic. I rode my bike to the pool, and many friends had above-ground pools and so on and so forth. And also when you're a child, it's fine. Uh, I, I, uh, I am a middle-aged lady. It's not fine anymore for a myriad of reasons. Now, first of all, I'm partial to Spanx tights all the way up. Uh, not only that, like a Spanx type top. Now, I don't like to bow down to the patriarchy in this one area. I just prefer to keep all my troops in one fox. It's a personal thing. I just, I just prefer it. Now, this is a commitment that I make 365. And in the dog days of summer, this is a rough go. And, 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 and because I, I do like shorts with tights, I have not had bare legs since around 87, 88. And, and I won't do it again. Uh, I also prefer footwear that is, is more amenable to the winter months. Now, I enjoy uh, a coat. Also, if you smoke, as you know, your cigarettes taste horrible in the summer, as does Thin Mint cookies and other things. Now, in the, in the crisp, cold air, have a Girl Scout Thin Mint, breathe in, you're welcome. It's a fantastic cigarette, fantastic. There's nothing like sitting on a stoop on a crisp night and conversing with a cigarette. A, a gingerbread latte, a hot coffee, all of that is crap in the summer. All of it's ruined. There's nothing you can think you want to eat. Midtown, in the summer, the pavement just, it, it, what would be expectorating? Is that right? Just heat coming up, the steam, a manhole cover could explode. It's happened that the steam builds up, people could die. The subway platform, now also let's think of this garbage juice on the pavement. Uh, when, uh, when the garbage truck goes by in the summer, they leave a juice residue. And in the heat, it is amplified. It, it is uh, all, it, it's, it, it, everything is Chinatown. That's not a racial slur. Uh, that's not a racial slur. But as you know, Chinatown is, a, there's a number of olfactory assaults in Chinatown. Maybe it's cultural, I, I have no idea. But uh, it's a, a powerful, powerful, she is a harsh mistress, Chinatown. And in the winter, it's, a, it's better. And also walking, delightful when it's cold. In the summer, I, horrible. And I, I, I sweat a lot, I sweat a lot. I'm a sweat, sweater. Um, and uh, not to be too, too blunt, uh, but my sweat has, has a particular signature. And I don't know whether it's because of the cigarettes that I smoke or what it is, but my sweat is um, hummus meets vinyl. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, and then maybe a couple of things from periodic tables, zinc, manganese, something with a minerally base to it. Um, and that's with shower to shower powder and deodorant. And every time I use the restroom, I wash my hands and my underarms. And I got about two good minutes every day out of the shower, and then it's all over with the crying, and there will be crying. Um, now, also, hot chocolate. A lot of you don't, hot white chocolate. A lot of people don't go that route. Oh, it's delicious. Hot white chocolate, especially in the winter. Now, Jacques Torres does white chai, okay. That's pretty good. Um, I would prefer to just be 
what, but they don't do it that way. You can't get the chai out. Uh, and it's okay. But in the summer, again, it's a wash. It's no good. And I have these rituals. I am a person uh, that does not... I have a lot of social anxiety. I, 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 I find that uh, I don't get a lot done in a day. But I have these little rituals that make me get these small goals that I accomplish that make me feel like, oh, I need it. I ordered that record from Rebel Rebel. I wonder if it's in. And then, and then I'm going to get a white chaw and then... Uh, maybe I'll make some jewelry. But, uh, and all of it in the summer is El Stinkaroo. Because we don't have air conditioning in my apartment. Um, it broke and I'm not one of those people that can... I own it. I, I can't fix. I, I, it's just going to stay with me. We have, uh, and we have dogs. And believe me, they suffer a great deal in the, in the summer. They love the snow. And it's fun to walk dogs in the snow. It's fun to walk, it's fun to walk the dogs when it's cold. And also, uh, talk about depression. When you wake up on the eighth day of a, of a heat wave, and it's actually, you know, 8 a.m., and it's the garbage juice is wafting in, and it's sweaty. Oh, the rut, the depression. It's, it's emotionally debilitating. It's, it's every day the same, and, it, and it's, gonna, it's gonna be awful. All, it's not, you're gonna get a, you're not gonna get a respite when the sun goes down. I like when it gets darker earlier now. I used to be a heavy drinker. I, I don't drink now, but I used to enjoy that you could drink earlier when it got darker. Uh, that privilege has been taken away, but for some of you who still uh, partake, as you know, it, it's like, uh, oh, it's dark. Uh, whereas, thank God we don't live in Ireland, where they do double daylight, you gotta wait till 10 till it gets dark, but I never held them back, so. Uh, now, swimming, camping. Again, I'm not a child. I am a pool party. That there's going to be people in bathing suits. You are out of your mind if you think I'm going to get in a bathing suit. And there's always going to be a few exhibitionists, and that's not gender specific. Some of the fellas are it. Some of the gals are it. They're going to wear uh, suits that are. Uh, uh, some are going to wear kind of thongy suits, which that is bowing down to the patriarchy. I'm not gonna, there's no wiggle room on that one for me. That, but, uh, and they're gonna do it. It's all vanity. It's, all, it's like being a sexy cat for Halloween. Stop showing off. It's not creative. It's not interesting. And also, I'm just comfortable with my body. No, you're not. You weren't raised. They don't give you the old, uh, I was raised in a household. No, you've got a great body. You know it. And you want to share it with others. And, and, it, and it's almost... Like, like when people say bucket list or man cave to me. I get the same sense of, how dare you? Don't say bucket list or man cave to me. Or I look like a chump. And that goes for you too, Olive Garden. You're not Olive Garden. I don't like the way you talk to me, Olive Garden. I'm sorry, that's not, has, it's nothing to do with this, but I really feel passionate about this. Like how Olive Garden fantasizes us all. Do they really believe we believe there's a culinary institute in Tuscany <laughs> where they're training James Beard award winning? This is what I'm talking about: bathing suit at the pool party. <laughs> and Paul Ryan's not cute. I hate to throw that in there, but he's not. Have some pride, ladies. Have some pride. He's not cute. He's ugly on the inside. You know, a lot of people thought Ted Bundy was attractive too. <laughs> Who's the thought? Okay, so, the, out, the bugs, the bugs, the gnats, and then sometimes you walk into a cloud of swirling gnats, and, oh, and they stick to you. Not to mention, now I'm also of an age where I can't go fresh-faced outside. I don't go anywhere without eyebrow pencil. I don't care if it's an earthquake. I don't give a shit if, the, if there's a terror strike. I don't care. I'm not going anywhere without eyebrow pencil. And also, I find I do need something, uh, and in the summer it just melts, and uh, your pores seem enlarged. And, and we still have yet to get a decent pore minimizer. I mean, they can put a ban on the moon, or they used to, but we can't get a decent pore minimizer. What's up, Sephora? Uh, so I don't, I don't like that. Thank you. Um, 